Hi, welcome to Happy Reading with me, Darby G. I, uh, I got to show you some of our books that are great, what we're going to call study aids or homework helpers. <clears throat> These have also been um, getting raves from homeschoolers or people that are tutors, that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> let's just get right into it. And I'm really sorry, my voice keeps going in and out, of course. Um, so for writers or for English or for kids that need a little help or that love it or even parents that just need help while they teach them or um, assist in um, homework, we have an illustrated dictionary, an illustrated thesaurus, and an illustrated grammar and punctuation, which is my favorite. Um, really quick to see inside what the dictionary looks like. Look at no pictures, the one page I open to. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so it's just, it's just a dictionary, but it's... Sorry, the doorbell just rang. Um, it's a dictionary with some illustrations. Then we've got the illustrated thesaurus, which is amazing. Um, what I love about this is they categorize the words and synonyms into sections. So let's say your child has to write a story, like a Halloween story, for example, all about um, Halloween. There is an entire page of words that could be used for that. Oh, I've opened that already. There you go. It's just gorgeous, and they do come in library bound as well as these flex binding. Um, the illustrated grammar and punctuation is amazing. If you're a grammar nerd or if you need help with grammar, it breaks it down in a visually appealing, very, very like um, accessible and approachable format, which I think helps a lot because if it looks like too much like a textbook, um, your eyes are going to glaze over, but it's awesome. And then there's actually quizzes in there that you can test your knowledge at the end. Um, so kind of going down to the end of the spectrum, so kiddos that are like in the preschool, like two, three, four, fives, um, we have a series, I call them preschool concept series, but they don't really have a name, it's just lift the flap. Um, there's numbers, there's colors, there's shapes, there's opposites, and there's word, um, and then I think I got them all. <laughs> I'll show you the inside. The word one is great, so like my four-year-old is working on sight words. Um, these might not be as traditional sight words, but what they're great for is now that he knows how to sound stuff out, he can start, you know, and then look in the pictures to find it. Or you can do the opposite, like what's she doing? She's skipping. So then you look down here and try to find, or whatever she's doing, um, try to find the word that looks like skip. Like they'll start looking for things that, set, that they know will sound like that. And then the answer is always underneath the flap. So that same concept um, is with like the numbers. I'll show you inside real quick. This one will go through counting, matching, ordering, sequencing, adding, adding simple um, activities, and then lots for just things to talk about and peek at and that kind of thing. Um, I kind of look at them as like worksheets or um, activity books with flaps is kind of what they are. Um, so geared toward a little bit older, we have the similar, we have lift the flap, but this one's our brand new telling the time one, which is I think going to be my favorite once Weston's old enough. It is chock full of scenarios and little um, problems that they can um, do like this clock says it is six o'clock. My clock says nine o'clock at clock at 12 o'clock, both hands point at 12. It's 12 o'clock at noon and at midnight. So it's kind of doing the teaching part. And then later they have program like what time is this and so you have to you know say it and then when you lift it it will say what it is it'll say what the answer is um it does digital as well and then in the back there is um you you punch out these hands and you can make your own clock so you can make it take it even further with teaching sorry i thought i heard my kid voice and then um similarly we have times tables and fractions and decimals and then at this point i do want to point out um we also have an adding and subtracting and multiplication activity book online are on the, in our site, and um, then we have also a um, fractions and decimals one as, as well. Um, those are things that you might want to look at if your child is in the process of learning. Like, look at this. This is awesome. I could totally have learned way faster if I had these handy dandy guides. Okay, so in that same vein, we have um, illustrated math dictionaries. Um, we do not, we don't teach Common Core in these, but they're aligned with Common Core since that's by standard. Um, what they need to be um, so they will go along with what they're already learning and they might even help you understand it better so you can help with them because we know that that is a huge headache for a lot of parents um, so these could be kind of textbook based ones or just supplemental guides and then just in that same format we have some science ones um, Ill illustrated illustrated elementary science dictionary 
um, solids, liquids, and gases, it, um, circuit diagrams, how pressure works with at atmosphere pressure. Um, it's got it all, but in a very friendly format, which I think is the key. And then you can get the Illustrated Dictionary of Science, which will include, um, it's a reference companion for physics, chemistry, and biology. Um, and it's a study, it's a good study guide as the kids get older. It has it all there, all the key stuff. And anytime your child is a visual learner, um, they're sometimes just key to maybe they can, if they have that photographic memory, books like this can help because it's a different way of looking at it than what's being thrown in their faces. And then we have several geograph, oh sorry, several encyclopedias that would be helpful for things like book reports or just getting their um, excitement for a subject. Um, geography, we have history, um, ancient history, whatever. Um, there is a science one. We have children's encyclopedia, which is um, a good range and it's a little bit younger than this one. And it's my bestseller when it comes to encyclopedias. I do recommend getting the, the nicer version than the paperback um, if you foresee a lot of use. Okay, so if we have some geography, speaking of geography, um, we have Lift the Flap Picture Atlas. Um, we also have a picture atlas that's not Lift the Flap, that's brand new. Um, I should have brought this over here and I'm sorry I didn't, but um, this one is exciting because there's a lot of little flaps and it's just a little, a little glimpse into what is in that region. Um, and again, it's going to help them visually think like I couldn't tell you necessarily where certain things are in this world, but I think with this book, this would have been very helpful. And then at the back, um, they have a, I won't take it out, but there's a poster that folds out to look like this with all the flags and stuff. And then lastly, um, timelines of world history. If you have a history buff or if you have somebody that needs a little assistance with maybe like the visual outlining of when things take place. I know I always have trouble remembering stuff before like 1930, like what order um, different wars happened. Um, this, this can be a, a really good learning tool for that and for history classes. So I hope that just gives you a good sample of what we have available um, for homeschoolers as well as those that need some supplementation to what their kids are learning in school. And let me know if you can ever find something on our site and I'll lead you in the right direction. Thanks so much and happy reading.